Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated today alongside with the Arab leaders in the 32nd Arab Summit, which convened at the King Abdullah International Conference Center in the city of Jeddah. The session was chaired by the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, who received His Majesty the King on arrival at the summit's venue. Then His Majesty the King delivered the following speech. أدعو جلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك مملكة البحرين للقاء كلمته فليتفضل. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الأخ العزيز خادم الحرمين الشريفين الملك سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود رئيس القمة العربية أخي صاحب السمو الملكي. الأمير محمد بن سلمان آل سعود ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء أصحاب الجلالة والفخامة والسمو معالي الأمين العام لجامعة الدول العربية الحضور الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته على بركة الله نجتمع اليوم في ضيافة أخينا خادم الحرمين الشريفين حفظه الله لنجدد العزم ولنواصل مسيرة العمل العربي المشترك بإرادة حرة وتصميم ذاتي وبروح التضامن الجماعي المخلص كي نؤسس للاستقرار والرخاء والوئام الذي لا بد أن تنعم به شعوبنا وسبيلنا لتحقيق ذلك نهج السلام العادل والشامل وهو نهج لا بديل له لمعالجة كافة القضايا العالقة لضمان الأمن والاستقرار والمصالح الحيوية لازدهار دول المنطقة دون استثناء ونرحب أشد الترحيب بالمساعي العربية الجادة التي نجد فيها بوادر مبشرة لبلورة نظام إقليمي متجدد ومتوازن والمتمثلة في استئناف العلاقات الدبلوماسية بين المملكة العربية السعودية والجمهورية الإسلامية الإيرانية واستمرار الهدنة الإنسانية في اليمن والجهود الجادة لحل أزمتها والعود الحميد للشقيقة سوريا إلى بيت العرب الكبير ونؤكد على هذا الصعيد ضرورة وقف الاشتباكات المسلحة في السودان وعودة أمنه واستقراره وحفظ حقوقه المشروعة إلى جانب حقوق الشقيقة مصر في مياه النيل وبالعمل على استكمال مسيرة السلام للوصول لحل عادل للقضية الفلسطينية وهو حل الدولتين وفق مبادرة السلام العربية وبما يضمن حق الشعب الفلسطيني الشقيق في إقامة دولته المستقلة وعاصمتها القدس الشرقية أيها الأشقاء نمتنا العربية بتاريخها العريق وقيمها الدينية والإنسانية والحضارية وما تتمتع به من ثروات بشرية وكفاءات مبدعة 
وموقع استراتيجي مميز وموارد طبيعية متنوعة لا هي قادرة على النهوض والتقدم لمواكبة حركة العصر عبر تعزيز التكامل العربي وبتجديد شراكاتها الاستراتيجية مع الدول الحليفة والصديقة القائمة على حفظ المصالح المشتركة وبرؤية توافقية وسياسات أكثر فاعلية للتصدي للإرهاب ووقف الحروب وتهديدات أسلحة الدمار الشامل وصولا لمنطقة مستقرة تزدهر في محيطها قيم التعايش الإنساني والتقارب الديني والحضاري ومن هنا فأننا نعرب عن خالص تمنياتنا بأن تنجح جهودنا المشتركة في تحقيق السلام بين روسيا وأوكرانيا لعودة الأمن والسلم لشعوب البلدين والدول المجاورة وليستعيد العالم عافيته الاقتصادية والبيئية التي تنهكها آلة الحرب كما ويحدون الأمل بأن يحالف التوفيق والنجاح أعمال مؤتمر الأطراف في اتفاقية الأمم المتحدة الإطارية بشأن تغيير المناخ كوب 28 الذي سيقام على أرض دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الشقيقة في نهاية العام الجاري بإذن الله وأننا إذ نشكر كل من أخينا خادم الحرمين الشريفين وصاحب السمو الملكي الأمير محمد بن سلمان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء على هذه الدعوة الكريمة وعلى حسن الضيافة وكرم الوفادة نتوجه لهما بعظيم التقدير على ما تبذله المملكة العربية السعودية من جهود دبلوماسية فائقة الأهمية ومبادرات إنسانية عظيمة التأثير والأثر لعودة أمن واستقرار دول المنطقة وحفظ سيادتها ووحدة مواقفها ولا يفوتنا كذلك أن نتقدم بالشكر الجزيل إلى فخامة الرئيس عبد المجيد تبون على إسهاماته الطيبة في تعزيز العمل العربي المشترك لدى ترأس الجمهورية الجزائرية الديمقراطية الشعبية أعمال القمة الحادية والثلاثين وأن نعرب عن خالص الامتنان لمعالي الأمين العام لجامعة الدول العربية وجميع منتسبي الأمانة العامة على حسن الإعداد والتحضير لأعمال هذا الاجتماع سائلين المولى عز وجل أن تشهد أعمال هذه القمة المباركة كل توفيق ونجاح تحقيقا لما نصب اليه من اهداف خيره تعود بالمنعه والرفعه لدولنا وشعوبها كما يطيب لنا ان نعرب في ختام حديثنا عن ترحيبنا بكم في بلدكم مملكه البحرين لاجتماعات القمه العربيه المقبله في عشرين اربعه وعشرين بعون الله تعالى والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته During the speech of the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister Israel Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdel Aziz Al Saud at the opening of the current session of the Arab Summit affirmed the advancement of peace and cooperation in a message addressed to the East and the West The Saudi Crown Prince made the remarks while opening the 32nd Arab League Summit after Saudi Arabia assumed the presidency of the 22 Arab League bloc in Jeddah on Friday afternoon. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed highlighted the untapped potential of the Arab world, saying Arab states enjoy enough cultural capabilities, human and natural resources, to assume a leading position and achieve prosperity in all the fields. He also emphasized that the Palestinian cause was and still remains the pivotal issue of the Arabs. حقق مصر. 
His Majesty King Abdullah II, Ibn al-Hussein of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, said that a just and comprehensive peace will only be achieved through the establishment of an independent Palestinian state. He added that the system of joint Arab action calls for strengthening cooperation among all the Arab countries. For his part, the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Sisi, affirmed during his speech at the Arab Summit the support of all efforts to activate Arab cooperation to take into account the common interests of the Arab nations and peoples. For his part, the Secretary General of the League of Arab States, Ahmed Abu Ghait, called for an end to the bloodshed in the Republic of Sudan, pointing that the crises in the region are witnessing a state of stagnation compared to the past period. The Algerian Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman gave a speech at the 32nd Arab Summit in Jeddah. During his speech at the opening, the Algerian Prime Minister stressed that the world is going through a state of polarization and crises in energy and food security, calling for mobilizing efforts to support the most affected countries. He also touched upon the Palestinian cause, calling on the international community to bear the responsibility for finding a just solution to the conflict. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky gave a speech at the Arab League summit in Saudi Arabia. President Zelensky was invited to participate in the summit where he was to meet with the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness President Mohammed bin Salman and others. During his speech at the summit, the Ukrainian leader said his government is working to end the naval blockade imposed by Russia on Ukraine sports and are forced to continue fighting. He expressed his happiness and admiration for Saudi Arabia's mediation in the release of Ukrainian prisoners adding that what is happening in his country is war and not just a conflict. The 32nd session of the Arab summit held in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, received wide media participation and attention. The media delegations attending the summit highly praised the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for playing a leading role in preserving the stability and renaissance of the Arab people. It was confirmed by the presence of about 150 journalists from more than 100 regional and international media institutions, an indication of the extent of Arab and international interest in the summit. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia provided great facilities for media delegations, most notably the Media Oasis and the center's advanced technical studios and support for all media institutions. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Al Khaldia Club on winning the Nasser bin Hamad Premier League for the 2022-2023 sports season. His Highness praised the keenness of the club's players to present distinguished levels and their dedication throughout the season to win the league, stressing that this achievement will motivate the club to make further achievements. He also praised the efforts of the members of the technical and administrative bodies. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praise the efforts of the chairman of the board of directors of Al Khaldia Club in creating the best conditions for the team to win the league and hail the distinguished levels presented by all the national clubs throughout the league. His Highness also hailed the performance of the Manama Club team throughout the season who came second. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts made by the board of directors of the Bahrain Football Association chaired by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and all committees for the success of the league. On behalf of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the concluding ceremony of the football season 2022-2023. His Highness Sheikh Khalid crowned Al Khaldia Club with the Nasser bin Hamad Premier League title after a 1-1 draw with Bahrain in the last match. His Highness handed the club the league shield and a financial reward of 75,000 Bahraini dinars. His Highness congratulated the club headed by Mahmoud Janahi for winning the league for the first time, which reflects the hard work and the distinguished efforts made by the chairman and members of the board of directors in preparing the team. His Highness praised the performance of the players throughout the matches and noted the strong competition in the league which reflects the development of the technical level of national clubs and Bahraini football. His Highness affirmed that the club has presented strong levels since its establishment and emerged remarkably on the local scene to win the second championship in its history after winning His Majesty the King's Cup in the 2021-2022 season. He wished the club 
every success in the future. His Highness praised the role of Bahrain Football Association, headed by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the success of the football season, wishing the Federation continued success. The Kingdom of Bahrain has welcomed the extension of the deal to export Ukrainian grain through the Black Sea ports for an additional two months. In a statement today, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said the important step will contribute to strengthening and ensuring global food security. It also reiterated Bahrain's support to international efforts to resolve the Russian-Ukrainian crisis peacefully in accordance with the international law and the UN Charter in order to restore security, peace and stability in the U European continent and the world at large. Bahrain International Airport has won two international awards in environmental sustainability in recognition of its efforts to implement sound environmental practices and eco-friendly transitions to contribute in achieving zero carbon neutrality goals. This came during the Bahrain Airport Company's participation in the 18th Airports Council International Asia Pacific Regional Assembly Conference and Exhibition held in Japan. Bahrain Airport Company Chief Executive Officer Mohammed Youssef Al Bin Falah accepted two prestigious sustainability awards on behalf of Bahrain International Airport. BIA was honored with the Green Airport Recognition 2023 Silver Award for airports serving 8 to 15 million passengers annually and a certificate marking its upgrade to level 4 transformation of the ACI airport carbon accreditation program. The Green Airports Recognition Initiative promotes environmental best practices and acknowledges ACI Asia Pacific Airport members with outstanding accomplishments in their environmental projects. Each year a different environmental aspect is chosen as a theme. This year was elimination of single-use plastic. <laughs> 